Okay, here's a, a bit of a demonstration. Uh, it's an animation of a spring pendulum, but I, it, it's something I want to discuss. This is from Walter Fent. Uh, he has a, a lot of nice uh, animations. I encourage you to go to his website and uh, look at these animations. This is his uh, animation of a spring pendulum. And what I want to show you is uh, some of the same things that, that uh, uh, we discussed in the simple harmonic motion. This is a demonstration of simple harmonic motion. Let's go ahead and start it. And you'll see that the uh, uh, the pendulum, spring pendulum in this case, is going back and forth. And you'll see that the uh, the what is showing now the little orange line that is uh, goes from the center of the ball to the zero position on the uh, of the graph is the displacement. We can show the velocity. The velocity of the uh, that's the pink line. You can see that the velocity goes to zero at either extent, uh, either when it's all the way up or all the way down, and the, it actually reverses direction. And the pink line is longest when it goes through the zero crossing. You can see the acceleration. The acceleration is minimum as it's going through the zero crossing, and it's maximum when it gets to either end because that's when it's changing the most. It, in fact, it changes direction. And you'll notice that the force, now a green line, is exactly in the same direction as the uh, acceleration. Uh, it's a little bit smaller for the units they use here. But then here is uh, really another thing I want to show you, and that's the energy. You'll see that as we uh, go back and forth, there's a constant exchange of potential energy and kinetic energy. Uh, as it goes to the top, it's all uh, gravitational potential energy. It gets to the top of the uh, uh, swing and the gravity makes it come down. So it's fully uh, potential energy at the top, uh, gravitational potential energy. As it goes through the zero crossing, it, uh, it's all kinetic energy, it's all moving. Let's go in slow motion. Um, I might be able to talk about it there. Now the spring is going all the way down. Now it's all spring potential energy. Now as it goes back up, as it goes through the zero crossing, it's going its fastest and it's all kinetic energy. As it goes up to the top, it uh, goes back to gravitational potential energy. So the, the oscillation is a constant change of kinetic and uh, potential energy at the top. Gravitational potential energy as it goes through the zero crossing, fully kinetic energy, that's when the speed is the fastest, and then at the bottom, it's spring potential energy. So this, it's this constant exchange of uh, energy. So that's a little video that I wanted to show you that uh, comes right after the first, uh, the first discussion. And uh, next we'll go on to elastic, uh, potential energy and that we just had a bit of a discussion on elastic potential energy when the the spring is all the way at the bottom what pulls the the pendulum back up is the spring potential energy okay let's uh, stop it here and go on to the next section